nothing spookier on Halloween than a wicked, twisted, terrifying smile burning in an orange pumpkin head. But have you ever wondered where this tradition started? Who invented jack-o'-lanterns? Let's find out on today's episode of... In the 1600s, the word jack-o'-lantern had nothing to do with carving pumpkins. Back then, the word meant a night watchman who carries a lantern with them. Over the next couple decades, jack-o'-lantern was used to describe creepy, mysterious lights that can materialize in bogs, marshes, and swamps. This phenomenon happens when gases bubble out of swampy waters and ignite when they come into contact with heat or electricity in the air. Today, we call these lights Will-o'-the-Wisp, but they've had many names throughout history. Jack-o'-lanterns, corpse candles, fairy lights, or foolish fire. Before we understood this chemical reaction, people told all sorts of stories to try and explain the lights. In Ireland, those stories were usually sung about a guy named Stingy Jack. According to the legend, Stingy Jack played a trick on the devil. As a punishment, he was banished from both heaven and hell, condemned to live in a never-ending night with only one source of light, a piece of coal burning inside a carved-out turnip. Sound familiar? In Ireland and Scotland, kids would carve creepy faces into vegetable lanterns and hide in the woods, scaring unsuspecting strangers. Over time, families started making their own Jack's lanterns out of turnips, potatoes, or beets, and put them in their windows to scare away evil Jack and other evil spirits. When immigrants from these countries came to the United States, they brought their seasonal jack-o'-lantern tradition with them. They quickly found that plump pumpkins, a common fruit in North America, made for the perfect jack-o'-lanterns. So how did pumpkin carving make the leap from local tradition to a must-have Halloween decoration? Well, some say it's all thanks to an 1892 Halloween party that was hosted by the mayor of Atlanta. The mayor's wife had several pumpkins carved with creepy faces and lit from within with candles placed all around the party. The spooky decorations were a smash success, and before you know it, jack-o'-lantern mania spread across the country. So rest easy this Halloween, because your jack-o'-lantern might just save you from Stingy Jack, if you believe in that kind of thing. And now you know where jack-o'-lanterns come from. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Question! Only on DreamWorks TV.